2022, we, mentioned, uh, we submit the motion for a debate on hate against Christians when um, Deborah Yubuku was killed, rejected. 2023, when we ask for a debate after commission statement on hate, uh, Muslims and Jews were mentioned, but not Christian, rejected. So let's talk about hypocrisy and intolerance in here. In the same time, when I've been warning again about um, Muslim uh, and Muslim, uh, Islamist floods coming with illegal migrants, I've been called Islamophobe. I don't have a phobia. I'm not afraid of them. Europe is Christian continent by its faith and by its culture. That is why I'm going to fight for the Christian Europe until the final victory. So help me God. In recent discussions surrounding intolerance in Europe, one voice has emerged with a stark perspective deputy Dominic Tartzinski. His remarks highlight a pressing issue that many feel is being overlooked in contemporary political discourse the perceived hypocrisy in addressing various forms of hate and intolerance. So I'd like to give you a message from the majority of Polish people. The message is very clear. It has been out loud seven times in a row. Polish nation rejected your ideas. Polish nation rejected your ideas of leftism. So you have lost seven times. Mr. Biedwin would confirm you have lost. Polish society rejected you seven times. So to let you know, Poland is number one with unemployment. Poland is number three with m management for women. And Poland is number one, Eurostat, it's your data, not ours, is number one as the safest place in Europe. Tartzinski's statements provide a lens through which to examine the complexities surrounding religious intolerance, migration and cultural identity in Europe. 